Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is King 1377 welcome back to my kingdom. And today is episode 19th of our journey in Hogwarts Legacy. If you missed the last episode, definitely go back and check it out. We battled some trolls, went to a vicious cave, and got debated by Lord Gok. And he promised to tell us Ranrock's secret, but, well, he did not, so we have to figure that out ourselves. <laughs> For you, buddy? Oh, lucky bitch. What happened? What happened to the troll? Where did he go? What the fuck? He operated behind me? But I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I am glad that I trusted you. Alright, what do you know about him, though? We shall Does speak it... soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Buddy, you promise to tell me. What should we do about the helmet thieves? I'm afraid there's no choice but to stop them. In this episode, we are going to do a quest which I'm very excited about. It's about Sebastian's sister. The objective is to meet Sebastian in Feldcroft and it is in the shadow of the state. I promised Sebastian I would meet him Feldcroft. He hopes meeting a new student will bring some cheer to his sister Anne. But there is something ominous happening in Feldcroft. Let us go and meet Sebastian in Feldcroft. I see you right there. And we are here. Let us get this flu flame location. Off on another adventure, are we? Feldcroft. Alright. Let us go and meet Sebastian. Wait for 20 hours. Sebastian. Sebastian, I was Mate. waiting for you, buddy. Jesus Christ. Do you know how long I have been waiting for you? Ah, don't worry, buddy. I just brought my nightwear because, well... I knew I was, I was going to wait for you and I had to take a sleep. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand And was carries. cursed by a random follower? A goblin is forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's yeah. why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm mm. hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring Let's back the Anne so. I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. All right, let's this go, way. buddy. Go, go, go. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Well, excuse Rebellion. me, Sebastian, there's a chest. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Please be level one. Please be level one luck, level two luck. Of course, but there's a chest here. What do we have in this? Ooh, a checkerboard blue wand handle. We have not changed our wand handle in a while. I actually, wait, where is it? This one. Ooh, blue for Ravenclaw. That is kind of classy. Rocking my uh, house spirit. Let us uh, do it. Oh, that's beautiful. Let us go. All right, Sebastian. Pardon me, buddy. I had to go and uh, find a new wand handle. <laughs> oh. Sebastian, where did you? Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the uh. better. It's worth a try, dumbass. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. Hmm. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Holy shit. <laughs> what exactly is her condition? That's really interesting. She has been cursed by I'm a Ranrock follower. That. If you don't mind, that's I okay. Just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Okay. 
not the visit he'd hoped for. Well, we have to go and speak with Anne and Solomon. That boy will fray my last nerve. Well, you have to understand, Excuse it's a sister. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. You Sebastian's cannot falter for trying. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. Surely there is something. And um, he's so adamant on knowing that there is nothing, but you never know. You never know. So I'm just going to go and say, surely there is something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Yep. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. True. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. Hope could be a good thing. With all due respect, sir, Hope could keep Anne's spirits up. Yep. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They're right, my stubborn a, uh, brother's no children. Enough. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. All right. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Good day to you. I'm really sorry, guys. I had to go and answer a phone call. Where were we? All right, uh, Solomon. Well, you know the thing with Solomon? It is very interesting because he truly believes that there is no cure. But, like Socrates said thousands of years ago, the only true wisdom is that you know nothing. And that's how you keep learning. So there might be just one cure that it might help sebastian and you cannot really fault sebastian for looking for a cure for his sister it must be very difficult seeing your sister being in pain I'm sorry about earlier those bouts of pain are difficult to bear oh don't be a hair voice is exactly like um what was her name two thousand years later what was it anyways moving on I cannot remember. Are you alright, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm alright. Isabella. The pain from this curse comes in bounds. Monic? The, the, the girl that we saw it's in the pensive. Anyone's fault. Anyways. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch, and she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say... I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Well, you never Perhaps know. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Sebastian's I'm afraid made up it's his really mind. up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Well, thank you for having me. I wish you well. I thank you. See how Sebastian's faring. Very nice meeting you. Let us go and talk to Sebastian now. Sebastian, buddy. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Yeah. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. He was out of line. He's trying to do what's right. 
It was kind of out of line, really, like... I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. Yeah. He's always to angry. At you in front of a friend. He's it's... been angry since my parents died. It's After kind of out of hurt, line. He only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Oh shit, Ramrod's we're gonna go to where it happened. Of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Yep. Where is this? All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. Off there in that plateau. Shit. Alright, we have to fight. Catch and throw a disarmed weapon. Complete the battle without using a vegan belt. Easy. Alright, wait. Um, we need Expelliarmus. To disarm them. I'm going to equip... Levioso. Well, that's my circle. Let's go. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus into an R1. Ah. He missed. Incendium. It's, uh, it doesn't reach him. I need to warm up. Oh, next one. Accio. That's so hilarious. Alright. Revelio. Hey, buddy. Come here. Take this. Levioso into Incendio? Into a battle? Boom, boom, boom. Way too easy. Take this, buddy. Thank you for running at me. Hey, give me a weapon. Throw it at him. R1. Boom. Apparate towards him. Apparate towards this dumbass. Incendio. Levioso. Dead. Where's the other dude? Behind me. Oh, shit. Oh, he's camping up there. Buddy, catch this. <laughs> You've made your last mistake. Really? Bring it on, buddy. Show me what you got. Oh, Tanka. Catch this. Catch this. Give me your weapon. And catch your weapon, buddy. Thank you for being so courteous. Ah, the incendio doesn't get to him. What, what are you trying to do? Hey, buddy. Give me that and catch that. No, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot catch him. Incendium? Ah, uh, doesn't get... Give me your weapon, buddy, and catch your weapon. Dead. And then we gotta go next to him. Incendium? Do I have to... Yeah, you have to be looking. Oh, shit. Almost got me. Accio? Incendium? Catch this. He spawned right next to me. Levioso. And boom. 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 <laughs> oh, the combat in this game is absolutely tremendous. I tried to warn you. It's okay, Sebastian. You got me. Right, we managed to actually finish that fight without using a vegan belt. All right. There must be many chests in these locations. 41 coins. A satchel with 55. Oh, what about here? Alright, there was one right there. I see, I see. 21. Oh shit, what is this picture? Interesting. A random picture. Ah, Sebastian. I'm back, buddy. Hope you understand. We're in need of coin. You need to buy mandrakes. Deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly. 
An icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Shit. They were trying to hide something. They'll kill for no reason. It sounds as if the loyalists attacked Anne without cause. Yep. I wouldn't put it past them. But I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And All right, let us go and Brookwood search. Castle. Shall we have a look around? Yes, we shall. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Search for a clue, okay. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Hogwarts. Oh! Isabella Mon... Uh, I don't even know if her name was actually Isabella. I forgot her name. But I wonder if they're talking about her. Interesting. <gasps> the painting! The painting! No, it's outside of the zone. Could that painting be of her? That's interesting. That's really interesting. Right, there's something down there. What is this? Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's yep. loyalists. Ooh. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Goblin dig sites. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. The house itself. Okay. Rebellion. Yeah, the painting. I Sebastian, knew it. Over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Holy shit. I, I think it is. I think it is, Isabella. That's cool. Wow. All right. Um... What else could we find? What's in this cauldron? Nothing. There is a well. This well looks familiar. Exactly. Yeah. Oh shit! They were standing up there in the first pensive. I remember. So when the professors uh, were standing on that hill and they made it rain, so everything became so green and basically life came to this village. That's Sebastian, interesting. That is Isabel. I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. Yeah. What do you mean? That when? is so cool. Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Yep, let's go and tell him. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you... I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a yes. drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora, Isadora. Morganock. Isadora Morganock. She was one there of you the go. Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? Not like I'm the not Quidditch. Following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. I wonder and now if... you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Yes. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. Yes, that's If right. I didn't know you... I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about I the I wonder keepers. if Anne has been cursed by ancient magic. Look at this. Mm. Revelio. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is all it right. blocking something? Only one way to find out. The parcel. 
Alright, let us go in. Huh, a stairwell. Revelio. Oh, it goes down. Oh shit. Let's equip Lumos. Lumos. Oh shit. Devil's a snare. I guess. Oh shit. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Lumos. Oh, a couple of notes. Isadora uh, Morganock Journal Entry 1 out of 7. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day, the muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all that they can for them. The grief is palpable. The one who have strived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. Plague, interesting. I wonder if it's the bubonic plague, but we'll see. <laughs> A fever may pass, the skin may mend and a scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some share of relief. Um, I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. Hmm, interesting. Because in that pensive, we also saw uh, Rackham telling her you can't do much. You cannot heal them. Perhaps she used ancient magic, as I said in two previous episodes, um, to heal these people, but she was extremely unsuccessful. Perhaps... What was that? Holy <laughs> shit, that scared the shit out of me. The, um, oh shit, a mirror! You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. Oh what? shit. A daydream. Because that happens to me too. Nope. In the mirror, dumbass. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. Yes. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even ominous. <laughs> we told ominous. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. And he's gonna tell ominous. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm tempted to hold my breath. <laughs> Alright, let's go, buddy. Let us enter the undercrawl. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Oh, shit. Another door. I wonder where where that will lead us. Hmm. I don't think that we have seen that before. Oh, that is the um is that the location Why of the map? Seems as if the note. Revelio. A note. Let's have a look. All right. I cannot turn it. The fire symbol. Perhaps incendio. Like there's some sort of a compass, I believe. And perhaps this could either be incendio or one of their camps. Hmm. It's just anything helpful in the notes? A rune symbol. Oh, I've a seen rune similar symbol. symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. Interesting. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure. I think of course, so. But I yeah, don't buddy. Think so. 
I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Hmm. No, I Very think well. I. I don't know. That it's too it's early to say. Ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Yep. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry. I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not. Hmm. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Take care, buddy. Quest complete in the shadow of the state. Unfortunately, guys, I have to end this episode right here. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell to stay notified for my upcoming uploads. Until the next time, guys, Godspeed.